site for this incredible football battle. This is a great day for football, and we're anxious to get this game underway between the Bandits and the Spartans of San Jose State. Here come the Spartans. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Spartans appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? Well, I think you're right. I think this one's gonna be a blowout. The away team comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame we're going to blow him out hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. You're 100% correct. The away team is going to go after the defensive front early and just pound them. Kirk, don't be surprised if these guys don't run for 400 yards in this football game. Easy win. Well, thanks, guys, and it looks like we're ready for the coin toss. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. Sanford takes it at the eight. They'll set up shot at the 26 yard line. Dyer is the single setback. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. About eight yards there. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Crockett comes to the line with three wide. And he's taken down. When you break one like that, you've got to give credit to the offensive line. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Spartans bring in the nickel package. He's looking. Got it to his receiver. And down he goes at the 37. That one worked pretty well. And it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. Crockett back in the gun. Draw play. Got an opening. Spin move. And he's taken down. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Crockett has four receivers lined up here. And down he goes. A nice pickup of about eight yards. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Crockett with four wide receivers. He's into the open field, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. I'm so impressed with this running back, Coach. Let me tell you, Kirk, he got the ball a couple of moves later. He's in there for a touchdown. What a play. And he tacks on the extra point. Under a minute now in the first quarter, and the score, the Bandits, 7, San Jose State, nothing. Scott ready to kick, number 31, and number 8 back ready to return. We should have a return on this one. Number 31 fields it at the 9. They'll get the ball here at the 28. Flynn with a takedown. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. He'll get it again. And he's taken down. Three yards there on the play. Third and five. Ball on their own 33. Number 36, alone in the backfield. He drops back, and it's caught with the spin. And down he goes. 
They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. Back to pass. He steps up. He's going right. And it's incomplete. He was looking for his running back, but the pass just sailed on him. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. San Jose State goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's under some heat. And he dropped it. The offense faces another third down as they line it up from the gun. Steps up in the pocket, and it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 97 gets it off. Schneider fields it at the 22. That last drive resulted in a touchdown, mainly because of the running game. And with that success running the football, I'm looking for play action then right over the top for six. Dyer is the single setback. Crockett will throw. Oh, they're going to hand it off. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call, only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee. You can never tell. Inside handoff. Spins up field, and he's taken down. The Spartans are going to take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 26. Two tight ends here. Again, he'll get the call. He tries to spin, and down he goes. The Spartans call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Inside give. And he's taken down. The defense stopped him. That fourth down play was very important as far as the big Mo is concerned. Now they have momentum on their side. Go for it. Number five lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Over the middle. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Number five comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He steps up. Caught. And now he's got room to run. Touchdown! What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. You realize in high school, this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. And he hits the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, San Jose State, seven. The Bandits, seven. He kicks it. Here's the call from the referee. Well, if you're the return team, you got to like that one. Yeah, because you get great field position and nobody has to get hit. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Bandits come out in a two tight end set. Look. Steps up. Let's it go. Got it. Inside the 30. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 18. And a big catch by the tight end. Yeah, that was big. And I'll tell you what, that tight end can really move. The Bandits come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. Seven yards there. Seven yard game on the play. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 11. San Jose State brings in their nickel package. Crockett back to throw, looking, throws this one out to the left, and he can't hang on to it. It's third down and three to go. 
Ball on the 11-yard line. The Spartans line up in a nickel back. And he's taken down. And he gets the first down. That guy just went pow and took it in. He wasn't stopping until he got that first and ten. The Spartans bring in the nickel package. Steps up in the pocket. Goes to the end zone. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. The Bandits are going to take a timeout. And that was their first timeout. This isn't much more than an extra point. Here's the call from the referee. Good ball. Delay of game. So the delay of game will move him back a few. I'm pretty sure the coach isn't happy with his quarterback right now. Dyer, the lone back, drops back a pass. He's looking. Watch the middle. The Bandits call for a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. San Jose State lines up in a dime defense here. And down he goes. And we've got a tie ball game here, folks. And we... The Bandits got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number eight takes it to 21. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 27-yard line. Fullback handoff. Eldridge brings him down. Two-yard carry by the fullback. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Number five with three wide receivers. <laughs> On the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down at the 31. A two-yard run by the halfback. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 31. Single set backfield. He drops back. He steps up. Pressure coming. And he's going to come up with a sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. San Jose State lining up the punt. Number 97 gets it off. Schneider fields it the 31. And they take over after a nice punt return. They'll start this drive at the 42. The Bandits line up with two tight ends. Crockett back to pass. Draw play. He's into the open field. And down he goes at the 50-yard line. An eight-yard gain. It's second down and two to go. Ball right around midfield. The Bandits come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down at the 49. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Third and one. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Spartans line up in a nickelback. Throws this one out to the right. And down he goes. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. He can scoot. And he's taken down. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. And that'll do it for the third quarter. And at the end of three, the scoreboard dead even. Two minutes left in the ball game. Going with the shotgun here. And the snap goes to the back. Missed tackle. And down he goes at the 16. He's been taking it to the opposition all game long. This halfback has run over, around, and through this defense. 
This kid's a good-looking football player. From the gun. It's a direct snap. And he's taken down at the 12. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. He hurt his foot on that play, it looks like to me. It's first and 10. Ball on the 12. The Bandits come out in a shotgun. Here's a little draw play. And down he goes at the three-yard line. That's a good nine-yard gain. Here are today's Red Zone Players of the Game, which is brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Touchdown! So the quarterback takes it in for the score. Yeah, nice job here by the quarterback to call his own number and get the ball in the end zone. is the extra point. No the Scott looks ready to kick this one off. Back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number eight takes it at the eight. <laughs> He couldn't find any open field at all there. You know, Brad, he looked kind of confused, like he didn't know where he was going from the start. They'll take over at the 17. They come out with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up under heavy pressure. Incomplete. Kirk, just let that one get away from him. Yeah, and you can see he wants that one back. That's a throw this guy can make in his sleep. Second and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. San Jose State sets up with four receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's into the open field. The 50. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And we're all tied up. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving for the game. And he hits the PAT. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is San Jose State 14, the Bandits 13. He kicks it. Schneider fields it at the 11. The run game was a big factor in this offensive last drive when they got down the field for a touchdown. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 35. And they have three bunch. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. They call his number, and he carries for six yards. The Bandits are going to take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Second and four. Ball on the 41. And they have three receivers bunch. On the ground with a tailback. And down he goes at the 46. That'll be a gain of five. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. San Jose State brings in their nickel package. And now he's got room to run. He's knocked out of bounds. And that was a fantastic run by the tailback. This defense has got to get back to the basics. Just a simple counterplay, and they were not ready at all. I don't know. They're just getting overpowered right now up front. One man backfield. They'll go with a run once again. And he's taken down at the 37. The Bandits call for a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. Second and nine. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Spartans bring in the nickel package. Looks. Wants to throw outside. And he's got it. Going the other way now. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. That turnover will probably do it for this team. Boy, when it comes to last-minute drives, it seems like we see more and more turnovers because you're trying to hurry up, and some players just aren't on the same page with everybody else. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 43. San Jose State is about ready to celebrate a big victory here.
And that's pretty much going to do it. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. San Jose State really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. And we thank you kindly for participating in NCAA Football 2000.